Hi friends. All right. Last video for tonight. We struggled with, let's see, let's do pink. Mm. Okay. We struggled with ordering numbers on our CCA. If I gave you instructions, order from least to greatest, least, I'm going to put an L to greatest, G for greatest. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make myself an L least all the way to greatest. And that's going to just show me, hey, don't forget, smallest number till we get to the biggest number. I'm probably going to run out of room. There we go. Okay, so let's say I give you four numbers. Let's do 23,461. You know what? I want to change my color. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, 23,461. Second number is 23,299. Third number is 24,600. 50, and then the last number is 23,018. All right, some of you are thinking, I can just look at it and order it. But let's just remember, let's review what I've taught you to do. That way, when it comes to something that's a little more challenging, you remember what we've learned. Remember, it's very important to turn your paper sideways if I give you some notebook paper so that you can create for yourself a place value chart. We have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So I need one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five spaces. Let's erase the other. All right. Here we go. Write ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. I bet some of you said she forgot her comma. If you said that, you're awesome. Proud of you. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do, we are just simply going to put this first number inside of our place value chart. 23,000. 461. Next number, 23,200, excuse me, 99. Let me draw my box just a little longer. Third number, 24,650. Last number, 23,000. Oh my goodness. Well, what happened there? Technology. If you stayed with me through that whole thing, you are a saint. Let's fix what happened. Okay. So we lost 600. 50, the last number was 23,018. Okay, I know it looks a little messy right here. Very, very sorry about that. Okay, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we want to order it and remind ourselves I'm working with the least to the greatest. Let's find the smallest number. We always, always, always start with the largest place value. And in this case, it's the 10,000 spot. Are they all the same? Two, 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 two? Yep, we can't use this to help us determine what the smallest number is. Go to the next one and that's thousands. We've got 3,000, 3,000, 4,000, 3,000. Hmm, I still can't determine which one is the smallest because I have three, three, three. But I know that it's not gonna be this one. I'm not going to worry about that one for right now. Let's go next door again to the hundreds. Four, two, 
and zero. Remember, I'm not looking at the six. I'm not worried about that. You can cover it with your finger. Out of these options, which one is the smallest, the least? If you said 23,018, you're correct. We're going to put a number one. That's the first one in our order. Awesome. Okay, and I'm going to put a scratch out because I don't like to see it anymore. We know it can't be this one because we've got threes here to still look at. Let's go back and look at these two. Let's compare our four and our two. Well, if you said two is smaller than four, you're correct. So 23,299 is the second smallest number. Excellent. Next, it's very, very, very obvious. We should be thinking critically that four and two we were comparing earlier. So four is the next smallest number. And really from the beginning, we probably could have seen that that four right here, that made, that made us realize it was the biggest one because everything else was a three. So this is my last one. Excellent. If we were to write this out, it would be something like this, 23, right here, 23,018 is less than, remember, when we do a less than sign, we put the one dot near the smaller number and then two dots near the bigger number, pointing towards the bigger number. It's smaller than, here's that second one, 23,299. Now, if I had more room, I could keep going in one line, but I don't. So I'm going to put another less than sign because remember, we've been looking for the smallest numbers in a row. 23,018, 23,299, and then this one, 23,461. And last but not least... 24,650. If on a test it said, what is the third smallest? Well, this was my first. That one was my second. The third smallest would have been this, 23,461. Sometimes what it wants you to do is it wants you to put all of these in order. And then out of that, it's going to say, okay, now find the third smallest. And your job would be to find that third smallest one. We'll keep practicing these ones in class because they're pretty challenging, but I want you to remember how we do our method because some of you had forgotten already and I know how much stuff we're learning. So look at this with your family, talk about it. And parents, you could even give them like four different numbers and just say, put them in order from greatest to least or least to greatest. I hope that helps and I hope you guys have a great night.